review. Meme review. Oh wait, no, wrong one. A sort. A sort. No. God damn it. Months monthly. Months monthly. Months monthly. <laughs> My children, something has happened. Something big has happened. Lil Tay has gone off the internet. Finally. This leads us into our first segment. Here we go. Lil Tay, if you're falling in the eye So welcome back to Months Monthly. Today... It's it's the 1st of July. You might be seeing this on the 2nd of July, but oh well. So, here's just the introduction. So, as you know, Lil Tay went off the internet. But before I start, I just want to say, if you're not subscribed already, please do consider subscribing. I have a new goal. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. If we can do that, tell your gran, tell your gran's goldfish, tell your gran's pet eagle and tell everyone you know to subscribe if you do enjoy the content that I make also please if you haven't already consider checking out the Harlem Happenings 2 me and my friends who starred in it put at least five hours into making it so as you can tell it's a pretty high budget movie I, I really like it I, I think it came out amazingly I really like the music and as always, let's just get right into it. So, Lil Tay, the nine-year-old flexor of the century, had a interview on whatever news station, I can't remember because I'm not really bothered to do that much research for this video. So she had an interview, and um, it went pretty well. I'm a Harvard dropout. What city is Harvard in? Um, I kind of forgot because I haven't been there in a long time. Just, just the disgust in the woman's face. Just, it's hilarious. She just says, "I'm a Harvard dropout," and then she says, "What? What state? Where is Harvard?" And she's like, "Oh, oh, uh, I forgot." <laughs> Can we get a clap and a half in the comments for Lil Tay? Can we? Can we please? Yes. It's it's even more funny because when the interviewer, like when the woman is interviewing them, she asks questions directed towards the mother, but then Lil Tay ends up asking them. Or and some what? She didn't even film in her own houses and she didn't even use her own car for that one video. You you, you know this one? Yeah. Yeah. That 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 one. That wasn't even her car. That was her mom's boss's car. People these days, am I right? Like, good lord. How, how stupid can you get? I mean, like... Really? Really? <laughs> so, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom came out. And... That's a very good movie. I think it's very good. They're, yes, they're making another one scheduled for 2021. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that fantastic? Another Jurassic World movie scheduled for 2021. What's it going to be called this time? Jurassic Planet or something? I'm not complaining. I'm just, I'm like, I'm really happy about that because, of course, I love the Jurassic films. It's just that a lot of people are saying that... It's really run its time, like, it's kind of time for the franchise to be over, like, I'm guessing the next one is probably going to be the end of all, of it all. Um, I don't know how more they can make The Fallen Kingdom. Uh, but, but yeah, that, that's really it. I, I thought, bleh, I thought it was a really good movie. It was very entertaining, had some very good parts to it. The villain was really good, and, uh, yeah. That's really it. That's my mini review on Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. 
Of course, I don't do movie reviews. If you want to check out someone who probably did a way better job of reviewing the movie than me, then you can go ahead and do that. It's your choice. I'm not one to judge. But, uh, yeah, ne next thing, please. Yeah? Laurel. Laurel. Yanni or Laurel. I already made a video on it. You can go check that video out. I think it's. I think it was uploaded just after the first episode of Month Monthly. And uh, yeah, there there was another one where there was another one where it was like this Ben Ten Yu Gi Oh thing, and it was like it would say Green Needle or Brainstorm, and you had to. It would make a sound, and if you thought of the word green needle in your head, you would hear a green needle. But it would make the exact same sound, but then if you thought of brainstorm in your head, then it would say brainstorm. I'll show the clip now, so... I find that really interesting. I don't know how it works, but I'm sure it works in some very interesting sciencey way. Bill Nye, can you get on that, please? Please? I want to know how it works. What is Kofefi? <laughs> so, as you know, here on Months Monthly, we like to... We like to, um... Talk about everything that happened in the past month, even if it's the cringiest thing. So, we're gonna be talking about the Fortnite Pro AM. So, one cringy part of the Fortnite Pro AM is they asked most of the players... Actually, first first of all, some of you mightn't even know what the Fortnite Pro AM is. So you might, mightn't even know what it is. So I'm going to explain to you right now what it is. So, a bunch of celebrities kind of had a match against each other in a big arena and um yeah that's really it so ninja and marshmallow one which is pretty cool because ninja is my favorite streamer so i mean that's that's cool and i actually did some fan art about that it's posted a few vid videos back so if you can go sh look at that and um, give it a bit of love that'll be that'll be awesome but uh yeah there are some pretty cringy moments where they uh asked all the YouTubers to uh, do their favorite Fortnite dance and um, l let's just let's just have a look I have it here and um, let's just let's just have a look at the clip it's very cringy do you guys like memes this may be one of them oh my god oh, geez, oh my god oh my god who the hell cares oh my god e3 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 E3, Minecraft at E3. So I'm gonna hold my Minecraft sword for this. You see my homemade Minecraft sword. This month, E3 happened. And um, yeah, I didn't really watch it, so I don't really know what happened. But I know there was a Fortnite Llama Rodeo. That was pretty cool. I just saw that from Jack's films. <laughs> yeah. Please, please subscribe to me, Jack. He probably isn't even gonna see this video, but never mind. It's, it, it's fine. It's fine. But anyway, many cool games were announced at E3. Fallout 76, a few Cuphead DLCs, um, I think Fortnite for Switch was revealed, which is pretty cool. Um... And then there was also, like, a few other video games, like, um, there was, like, Artifact, uh, which was, like, a card game, and then there's, like, Epic Games revealed, like, a Gears of War Funko Pop mobile game. A Funko Pop mobile game. A Funko Pop mobile game. Of course, there is also the Minecraft Aquatic Update, which is really exciting, as you can see, because I'm a true Minecraft fanboy. I, I really am. Uh, holding my diamond sword here. 
But uh, actually, you know what? We're going to put that in the background. It's going to be in the background of every month's monthly episode now. There you go. There you go. There is my diamond sword in the background of every month's monthly episode that there will be. There you go. There you go. There it is. Do you see it? Do you see my beautiful diamond sword? Do you? Hey, that's pretty good. It's time for that section again, where everyone just cringes and laughs. You know what section it is. Memes. So, this month, of course, there is the Yanier Laurel meme. Which, um, just, just watch. Pretty self-explanatory that, isn't it? Um, and then, there was also, of course, the whole E3 meme, but there's been a meme that's been going around for a while that kind of reached its, it's been, go it's been around for like a month or so. But it's really peaked this month. And it is... Despacito 2! I really can't believe we're living in a world where people are like, We should have Despacito. I really... I, re I know it's like a joke. Because people are like joking around. Because they don't actually want Despacito 2. But um... If it really does come out, if if the creators of Despacito are watching this, don't. Please don't. I don't need to go through that again. I don't need my earlobes to burst and I don't need to become deaf. I think I'm already deaf as it is from listening to that song on the radio. So please, for the love of mankind, don't make Despacito too. And now, the final part of this episode of Months Monthly. The Harlem Happenings 2. Like I said at the start of the video, if you've not watched it already, please, please, please do consider watching it. it show it some love. Like the video. Do as much as you can. I really put so much effort into it it took like literally a whole month to organize as you can see if you look on my calendar which you can't even see because my wardrobe's open it says we filmed on the 27th and then it was actually uploaded on the 29th i thought it was going to take a long time to uh, to like edit so I, I i left it open for thursday because I really need to close this door. I left it open for Thursday, so it wouldn't be like, oh, I just edited the whole thing. Oh my, oh no, and now I have to wait an entire day. And what do you know? That ended up happening. I edited it on. I edited it. I edited it. I edited it. I edited it on. Wednesday evening after all the guys went home and I finished editing it and I was like well this is a real pickle isn't it so then I just made the final trailer on th Thursday which I was always going to do and then of course I uploaded it on Friday so, so so Sparky if you're watching this who is one of my followers he asked what's the storyline to the Harlem Happenings 2 and I thought I'd do a quick synopsis storyline for any of you who are completely lost or don't even know what the hell the Harlem Happenings is which if you're new here please do consider subscribing it's greatly appreciated uh, don't worry I'll get to all of that at the end but basically so if you can't remember the first movie the first movie was David is a young guy from Harlem he gets like people start going missing he loves conspiracy theories and mystery cases and he's like whoa I want to get involved in this 
which was a terrible idea on his part because you realize there was a slasher and oh my god and whoa this is crazy and then he realizes that the slasher was actually connected to Sean's cousin going missing and all that and they realize that so they go to an old man's house who is Sean's cousin's hockey coach so then he said oh yeah the slasher before he became immortal and became the slasher he <clears throat> basically he murdered someone he went to jail like he murdered someone but he everyone accused him but he kept on declining but then one day the hockey coach gave a compelling piece of evidence in court and then they were like yeah you killed him go to prison so then he got ticked off he escaped he's now roaming around Harlem killing people he killed Donal and George and Sean and top 10 anim top 10 anime deaths of all time and then the second one David is traumatized so he wants to move to somewhere else so I picked Columbus because I just searched up map of America and just found oh well look at that Columbus Ohio is decently near to the state of New York so I was just like Columbus Ohio why not so he went to Columbus Ohio and he meets new friends but then he starts feeling a strong presence because the slasher he actually followed him because he's not he's not dead he's not dead he's alive he's very alive and uh, crap I just realized I spoiled the whole thing oh no I'm gonna add a clip in before saying spoilers ahead if I didn't then I'm so sorry I probably will though but um yeah that's really the main basis of it and yeah anyway that's really it for this episode of Months Monthly. I really do, I like, I really, really do hope you enjoyed. I really am considering doing more of these because it went really well. And please do, please watch The Harlem Happenings too. It really, it, I really appreciate it. As always, we are trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you know anybody who might be interested in subscribing, please tell them. It would really help me out. Remember that 100 subscribers by December 31st. If we do, I will just be so amazed. 100 subscribers by the end of the year. We're already on. Um, we're already like 29 subscribers away, which is insane. Um. But anyway, guys, please do consider subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. If you liked it, there is a button for that. If you did not like it, there is also a button for that. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.